what are the chances that I live next to an airport and a railroad? Hello, my darlings. All right, so we are coming at you barefaced as usual for another makeup. Get ready with me, is it? I don't know. I'm going to try a foundation technique that I saw somebody do recently, and so we're going to get right to it. Okay, so basically it's brush it on and then sponge it. Now, this is this anything new? No, but it's something I have never tried, so we're just going to do it. Here we go. Okay, so I kind of wanted a creamy foundation today. I don't know why. Like, it just, for me, I just was thinking I have to have a creamy foundation. Let me get this hair out of my way. My hair has been the biggest catch-22 of my life. Like, if you do it, it looks bad. If you don't do it, it looks bad. Once it gets to be a cute color, now it's fallen out. Oh, the universe is against me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix the... Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. These are both good. Um, they're both good. I, bo I like them both. Um, but the Juvia's Place is very creamy. So real creamy. The biggest bummer of these foundations is that they oxidize. And the Anastasia one is thinner. The Anastasia one is a little bit darker. It is in the shade 150W. The Juvia's Place is in the shade Marie Chow. I wish that foundations would just put on there like fair or light, you know, and then add the, if, you know, if, if this will help you, like the undertone, warm, cool, neutral, whatever it is. I don't know. So basically, I've got this all over my finger and hand, which I don't want. So basically what they I saw somebody do was have a flat foundation brush and they just painted it on and then they used the sponge to blend it out. Now, to me, that just seems like A, a lot of work and B, a lot of cake. So I don't love a cakey makeup look, but I don't mind a full coverage makeup look. I just don't want it to look chalky, crusty, and cakey. So let's just see if we can do it. But like, no, oh, okay. <laughs> mm, smells good though. It sort of has a cucumber, watermelony scent. Okay, let's blend this out quick because it's looking scary. And maybe the texture of the foundation makes a difference because the foundation I saw this girl using was not as thick as this one is so maybe that makes a difference well that sheared it out pretty good let's see if we can just paint on the nose area the nose nose as they say and that is really the litmus test for foundations. Okay, so as a technique, I'm not overjoyed about it. Um, it just seems like a lot. Um, I would rather just dip the sponge and sort of blend it out that way than to paint it on and then have to blend it as well when you end up with the same sort of finish uh, and final product. So let's just finish up and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so I was getting ready and I was just like doing it up. And then I realized that I wasn't filming at all, which is such a bummer. So what we did was we added a little bit of this beautiful powder, the Keep Me Covered, Essence Keep Me Covered powder. It's very beautiful. I added a little bit of this concealer mixed with this concealer. And that's for my under eyes. I put a little bit of this e.l.f. Camo Concealer no camel powder foundation in that little dip of my eye to camouflage my eye bag then i used this blush very beautiful it is the Away studio cream sheer blush in the shade hush i'm gonna put a little bit on because i feel like i need just a tiny bit more pinky it might be a bit much so i may tone it down after a while 
And then I was like, I'm gonna do some eyeshadow today, y'all. Like, and then I pulled this out. Like, do we remember this? Look, check this out. The Wet n Wild 10 Pan um, Eyeshadow Palettes Color Icon. And this is in the shade uh, Rose in the Air. So I just used this in my crease and then this on my lid. It's looking really pretty. And I just heard recently, I was like, someone was like, man, eyeshadow palettes are for like old women. All the, all the cool kids are saying this. And I was like, Puh. Puh. like you come to the right place. So shall we do, I never do this, but let's just do it anyway. A setting spray. I think my blush is a bit much, so first I'm going to tone that down. It's either too much or not enough. It just appears that in my life, you, there's such a fine line. There's such a fine line between too much and not enough. Oh my goodness, I'm experiencing like a wild bit of nostalgia because this smells like a hairspray that I used to use when I was a very young teen. <laughs> I'm talking like 13, 14. That's crazy. All right, so let me know what you guys think about a look such as this. So that's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.